As our starting point, we are using the multi-line engraving plate that we created in the previous badges video. With our badge elements selected, we choose Layout Menu, Badges, to open the Badge Setup dialog. The Use Plate checkbox should be ticked on, and Custom Size should be off. Above the Use Plate checkbox, the drop list is used to set score lines or crop marks. For our full plate design that uses the entire plate, we can set this drop list to none. In the Page Preview area, Note that a single plate fills the entire machinable area. In Text Compose, we previously set margins for the text field, so the margins here can be left at zero. We will have a single badge per plate, so the spacing between our plates can remain at zero. For text that can be replaced, note the line here that corresponds to the initial badge design, which we had created in the previous video. In our design, we had used meaningful text that described what each line represents. For lines that we want to be variable, we click to highlight them. We want to replace this text using a text file that was provided by the customer. Enable the Replacement Data File checkbox to On, and then click the Browse button to choose the text file. As an alternative to text data, note that the data file can also be a spreadsheet file. Also note that we can choose Tab Key here because the fields within our text file are tab delimited as opposed to the other delimiters that are possible. Notice that the number of copies has been set to 26 because we have these many entries within the data file. As we see here, this gives us one copy per page for a total of 26 pages. At this point, we can click OK to close the badge setup dialog. The text substitution dialog will now display the text data that was loaded so that you can review the data before creating badges. This data looks fine, so we can proceed with clicking OK. And here on the workspace, we now have 26 badges, which can be inspected using the Sheet Page palette. Note how the toolpaths have been updated according to the text of each badge. Clicking through each badge allows you to confirm that the badges are ready for output.